What's up, homies? Jackson Wilkie with the Channel Junkies. This is a storyboard that I created. Now, what happened was I shoot a lot of videos and I was wasting way too much of my time shooting way too many clips and trying to figure out where to go. The other problem that I had, I was running out of things to say on camera. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can plan an entire video in less than 10 minutes. This is my storyboard. Now what I wanna do is I'm going to fill this out for you and show you where I get all this information really quickly. So what you can do is either put just like the location and you can title it later or you can come up with a title right now. I'm gonna come up with a mock title. I may use it, I may not, but it's gonna be really close. Insane, that's clickable. Community in Houston, Texas, you have to see. Now I may, you know, at the end in brackets, put the actual community for the keywords, but I will also have it in my description. So not worried about it now. What we have to do is go through this storyboard real quickly and plan out our entire day tomorrow because me and Joe are gonna go shoot this video tomorrow. So the first thing that I wanna figure out is all of the information that people basically want, right? Where is it at, what city, what neighborhood, or what master plan community? And oh boy, they always wanna know these independent school districts here in Houston. So this is all information that I have no idea about right now that I'm gonna go figure it out. So all I gotta do is go into Google and you're gonna see I was trying to come up with titles for this very video. But Sienna Plantation ISD. And right there, it gives me my answer for the independent school district. And I was totally wrong. I thought it was in Sugar Land, but it's not. It's in the Fort Bend County ISD. The cool part is, if you notice right here, like a lot of the neighborhood cities I've traveled the country, they have a website just like this. So I'm gonna get a ton of information before I go. And this is gonna save me probably five to six hours tomorrow. And I'll be able to get this whole vlog done in probably one hour. So the first thing is, proximity right here. I already know that this is basically in the way I'm going to tell my audience, South Houston, Texas. So I know it's down South. The city, I actually thought it was in Sugar Land, but if I go right here and I look at location, it's gonna tell me it's in Missouri City and you guys from Houston are like, you're an idiot, Jackson. But it doesn't matter. Don't care, bro. I make killer videos. So what I gotta do is go right here to the city and I'm gonna write Missouri City. Done and done. The neighborhood, I already know. This one's a master plan community and we're gonna go to Siena Plantation. School ISD, I just found that out. That is Fort Bend. And I used to go to these master plan communities or these different cities and suburbs and I had no idea what the school districts were. I was always asking Joe, where are we at again? What is the school district? Because I'm new here too. A lot of you, you're born and raised in your area. You already know this kind of stuff, but it's really gonna help you to when you turn that camera on, you're like, oh, I need to talk about the proximity, the city, the neighborhood or the master plan community and the school districts, right? Boom, 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 boom. That's gonna give you minutes of information right there. Trust me, it's gonna help. Number two on the list, what we gotta do is figure out a few of these things. Now, the reason I put Info Center is because I've been doing a lot of these new community and master plan community tours and they have a welcome center and boy, oh boy, are they excited to see us because we sell their homes. So what you're gonna notice is my line here's a little bent that probably pisses off people who have OCD, but that's fine. But the taxes, what's here and what's coming. Now I'm gonna be able to figure out what's here and that's gonna help me with my amenities here in a minute and my drone footage. But that's also something that I've found at the welcome center I will learn way more about and then what's coming. I know that there's new sections where I'm going, so this will be great information of what's coming in the near future. So number one, we gotta figure out if we go here online to the taxes. Now, if I go right here, again, you may not have this. Taxes aren't as big in some cities and states. Here in Houston, it is life or death because the property taxes will eat you alive. Damn, property taxes up the butt, God damn. And right here, we've got taxes and HOA. I'm also gonna make a note that this is on the website on my storyboard so that I can do some back and forth, right? I will actually have a, a scene in my vlog where I come to here and show people. So right away, I'm just gonna show you that I can go down here and this is 2022. So I'm not gonna put exact tax rates, but I can go in here and find a neighborhood and you know the mud district. And it's gonna tell me right there that I've got tax rates of 2.46. So now I've got a very good understanding of what it's gonna be. I'm just gonna put 2.4 and up of three plus, And I'm also gonna say on website so that I remember I need to shoot that on the website. So that's there. 
What's here? Let's go figure it out right now because this has an amenities tab. So I can see right away there's some really cool things. Now what I want to do is look at the pictures and go, okay, what do I need to shoot and what do I not need to shoot? Because if I go to the parks right here, I used to do this and I would spend all day shooting all these parks and it was really irrelevant. They kind of just want to see the main areas, right? So I'm going to go through here and go, okay, a lot of these are just little baby parks probably in the neighborhood. I don't need to go there. But if I look, that one looks super sick. Like I want to go play there. I want to play. I want to play now. So I'm going to make sure that I go to Sawmill Lake Club, right? Some of the other ones, again, these are all just normal ones right in the neighborhoods. But I see this ball field that's Camp Sienna. I got to go there. And then just looking at it, you know, it looks like there's one more. Look at that badass with cowboy boots on. I love it. Uh, to the amphitheater. I think that's really cool. I love talking more and more on these master plan communities. Again, my niche is relocation families. You got to figure out who your audience is. But when I speak about these communities and, hey, you're going to have events almost every weekend, you're going to, you know, be able to meet people quickly. We get a lot of comments on that and that's what people want to see. So what we got to do is just go over here to my sheet and I'm going to fill out a couple of those that I saw. Now I'm going to put that right here at amenities really quick. So I'm going to put Sawmill Lake, Sawmill Lake. I'm going to put Camp Sienna and I'm also going to put the amphitheater amp for short. Now I've got a few of those filled out. I'm going to leave some space. The reason I didn't put what's here is because I already know it right there. But when I go talk to the info center or the welcome center or maybe another real estate agent or maybe a friend who lives there, right? That Those are things you can do. In fact, here's a really good tip for you. If you don't know a lot about these areas, I get dozens and dozens of reach outs and messages about this. Go to Facebook and say, hey, anybody living in the such and such area, what do you like about it? What are the pros and cons? What's your favorite things to do there? What are the taxes? And people are going to spew this information on there. They're actually really good engaging posts and that's gonna help you with your video. But I'm gonna to talk to the Welcome Center tomorrow when I get there and ask them, what are the top attractions here? Because it might add a couple here that I can throw on that I didn't know. Then what's coming, a lot of these new communities have new schools coming, they have new parks, they have new splash pads, they have new community centers. I want to get that information because it's really good for my blog. So what are the amenities and stuff? Yeah, so we have everything from we will have a resort style pool and lazy river to 30 miles of walking trails once nice. the community is complete. Now we got to go over here to number three. So the next section, number three would be the home section. Now as real estate agents, this is typically what we're focusing in on our videos, but I'm going to teach you what you really need to be focusing on. Now right here, the reason that I put homes third was because I typically go into this welcome center, info center. I'm going to get all my info first. And then a lot of times all the homes are right next to it, right? So uh, you can do this any way that you like, but I have just found if I keep in this order here, again, I'm able to shoot these videos in a fraction of the time. So now that I've got the info, I'm probably gonna go into a couple of these different homes, but what I want to do with this section is, before I get to that, I just wanna talk about today's sponsor. Channel Junkie University is something that we have just built. Channel Junkie University will be your one-stop shop of every social media platform, including our YouTube Masterclass, Instagram Reels for Real Estate Agents, Analytics Mastery, Smartphone Mastery, Video Pro, and other courses like Mindset Mastery everything that you will need to take your real estate business to the next level. So our website is down in the description below for Channel Junkie University, or just go check it out at channeljunkies.com. Okay, so when I put homes on my storyboard, the reason that I did it is because traveling the country and shooting these videos, I have learned one thing. A lot of these buyers that are moving here, they're looking for a couple different builders, especially when it comes to new construction. So I like to go to these pages here and just look at you know, who are some of the builders? And there's a few of them that I'm looking for. So a little cheat code for you when, when I go in here and I just want to make sure they're here. So all these websites typically talk about this. You guys comment down below. Who do you feel like your clients like as builders the most? From what I've heard, Toll Brothers, they have obviously their, their houses are going to be more expensive, but people love Toll Brothers. So I'm glad to see that there. Perry Homes, we've got a few of those under contract right now and you know Weston homes so a lot of these are nice but I just want to make sure before I get out there and talk about it that you know some of these are out there and then you know then you can look at different floor plans from 90 feet to 80 to 60s to 55s you know you have all those different sizes so 
What I got to do is just make me a note. Okay, I do know I want to go into Perry. Definitely Toll Brothers. That is, uh, you know, one of the top ones here. Maybe Weston. And then when I get there again, I'm going to leave this open. And the reason I will too, because I'll make notes of the other houses that I go into. And I can just make, you know, like a, a side note. If I do this, I know when I get home, I can label my clips of these different builders or whatever. So a little bit of extra room there, but I know for a fact I wanna go check these out. So what we've done is we've basically filled this whole line out and we've got the amenities. So what I'm gonna do with my drone, and if you don't have drone, that's fine. You probably need to follow along with this anyways because you can do this with drone slash phone or camera, right? This is going to be a lot of the B-roll. I will grab this with both the camera and the drone. So for the drone, what I wanted to do or your B-roll, people ask me every day, hey, what B-roll should I get? How do I get the B-roll? This is how I plan it out because when I would go to these areas and I, especially if I didn't know much about it, I had no idea where to go and I was wasting so much of my time. So what I do is just type in like the neighborhood, the city, the master plan, wherever I'm going and I want to see it on the map, right? So obviously I know, okay, I'm down here south of Houston, there's Sugarland, but what I'm looking for for drone is, is just this right here. So here's Sienna Plantation, a lot of the new developments going down this way, but remember we wrote down Camp Sienna, and then I see right here, I didn't even know it, Sienna Golf Club, definitely want to get that, and there's typically tennis courts there, you know, a lot of things going on, plus shops, restaurants, bars, whatever. So now I know when I come in here, the Camp Siena is up here kind of in this northwest corner. Just to the east of it is Siena Golf Club. And I can really start pinpointing where this stuff is. So what I want to do is just have a little reminder for when I get there and put Camp Siena right here, which is that really cool, you know, all the ball fields and everything. And I'm going to put northwest corner. I remember now, at least that's my note, that it's in that northwest corner, right? Now, what I didn't know was that there was a golf course right next to it. So I'll just write right here, golf. That's my mental note that it's right next to it. And I'm just going to put a little arrow over and just write just east. Okay, so now I know when I go there, okay, perfect. I can go basically to one of these spots and they're so close to each other, I can fly the drone and get both of them with one shot. Before, I would have been driving around, I would have seen you know, the, the northwest corner here, Camp Siena, and then I would have driven around, find something else, and I would have popped the bird in here. But now I know from one spot, basically, I'm gonna tie these two together, saving me over an hour of driving around and wasting it. If you are doing the camera, I would, you know, at least drive by it, get out, get a little bit of B-roll of that. Again, you don't need the drone, but it does help. Now, just so that I know, I, I see Sienna Parkway right here. This is the main road. And if I zoom in, here's the Sawmill Lake. So I know, okay, right in my, uh, my head here, there is the Sawmill Lake Center. Everything is right inside this loop here. Uh, there's Sawmill Lake. So now I know, okay, we gotta go hit this area because I'm gonna be able to see the lake. Uh, some, you know, the, the pools and everything right there. So I've got my bearings now that when I come in here, I'm just going to hit two or three shots and, and be able to get all of the B-roll that I need. And it's really only going to take me 20 minutes now, but it's going to make this video seem like, you know, we've covered every square inch of it. There's zero reason right now why you should not hit that subscribe button. So if you would just hit the pause button, do whatever you have to do, go down there and hit that subscribe button because what I'm going to continue to do is give you these free downloads, just like this storyboard here, plus dozens of tutorials of how you can grow your business, inbound lead generation from video. So right now go hit that subscribe button. So number six on the list, right there, transitions. If you've noticed one thing about this video, I'm kind of jumping around from computer to different cameras. And what I've found is that just really keeps the viewer's attention. Now, I've shot hundreds and hundreds of community tours all across the country in every different market. And what I've really learned, people want to see these areas, but you've got to be able to keep their attention longer. That's how I've been able to outrank any one of my competitors with videos. And here's what I do. I leverage a lot of these transitions where what I'm going to do is when I'm over here at these homes, I'm going to go house to house. Now what that transition means to me, it's a mental note that I need to go to some of the coolest, those big white brick homes, just gorgeous homes, because people just love 
looking at that. They love watching it. And I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to hold it up to my hand and pull back, right? Or I'm going to go up to a flower pot, right? Or I'm going to go up to a bush. And I'm just going to do a bunch of these in and out transitions really slowly over to the house. Now, as you can see in the video and the B-roll, I can transition from house to house and it just really makes for a cool video. Number two on the list is gonna be behind signs. So again, I kind of tie this in and the reason I do that is because if I can't go house to house or hand to hand, a lot of times I'll use like a sign or a light post and do it or even a tree. I really like using trees too. When you sweep away from it, it just, boom, it puts the house right into the middle of the frame. Drone follow. Now again, I leverage the DJI Mini Mavic Pro 3. I do not need a license for this because it's under 250 grams. And if you get the new one, it comes with this awesome remote. This screen right here is HD. I can see everything on here and I have the ability to just swipe up, tag myself and it will active track me. So what I will do is grab my camera, I do this in every community, and I'm just gonna walk around and sometimes I'm not even talking, I'm just fake talking, I'm pointing, I'm sweeping around, I'm looking at things, I'm walking, I'm pointing at the camera, and I just get a lot of B-roll of the drone. That way, my videos are always snapping in and out of different scenes. Again, this has increased my average view duration sometimes 30 to 50% getting me thousands and thousands of more views and tens of thousands of more impressions. Walking into the house, what I like to do with this one is we're gonna go into a couple of these homes, not many. Again, I wanna make it more about the community, but I'm gonna show myself you know, sweeping the door open walking into a couple of the rooms. So I just, again, these are all mental notes for me because when I get into just one area, I can pull over, get out of the man van or whatever I'm driving or if Joe's driving, and within 10 minutes, I will get every single one of these transitions done. I'll get some property tours, I'll get the drone shots, and now I've got this entire video's B-roll done in 10 minutes because I've got it written down and I can follow it. And then, as you'll see on there, it says studio and map. I've already explained what I've done with the map. I will get on here and kind of show it. And so now I'll have the back and forth of being out there. But again, people have no idea where these places are. So I want to go onto the map and show them and then be out there outside and actually show them what it looks like. And lastly, the studio. I'm going to have some kind of mixtures of talking right here in the camera, as well as going out there in the community. That back and forth right there, again, has led me to make my best average view durations and my best videos of my career. And this storyboard, if you follow it, you can tweak it to however you want, is a free download down below. But there's a lot of real estate agents in your market doing this. The only way to outrank them and to be the top real estate agent in your market, watch this video. I will give you the secret upload times and exactly how you can make better videos so that your videos will outrank your competitors. So go watch that right now if you want to be the top dog, homie.